what is going on people we are back with another video and this one here is all about ashley and manuel and you know what <laughs> this guy has got to be one of the most disrespectful cast members that i have seen in a while to be fair that's a lie there's always someone who's very disrespectful but to be fair with you i just feel like with this guy it gives me a very different vibe to other people that we've met before that have been disrespectful but hey let's stop wasting time Subscribe if you're new to the channel, like the video, and now let's get into this uh, nitty and gritty of exactly what goes down with these two. Myself. And I feel like I work hard, so I want to spend money on myself, I'm going to. So like, why is how we spend money like so important to him? I feel like the things that I, um, like the money that I spend on myself could be put towards helping his family. And I think it's quite annoying that they're still having this conversation about money. I think it's quite strange that they never had this conversation about money before he even flew over to the States. You know, most people th speak about financials like way before they even, even get together sometimes. And most importantly, before they decide to live together too. But okay. <laughs> it's the part here, you know, really and truly where this guy literally says that, um, <laughs> she knew the baggage I was coming with, then proceeds by saying, um, she has to take the responsibility, take the responsibility. I mean, like, bruh. Did she know about it though? Because it seems to me as if like, she kind of found out when you arrived, because I remember when he arrived, that's when they started talking about it and she looked surprised. So I'm not too sure if she, if she really knew, knew about this baggage, but hmm, maybe she did, maybe she didn't. Yeah. Pocket. This could go to my light bill. And I'm taking it out of my purse to give to a family that he is getting separated from. Now let's talk about that. He wants her to give her money to send to to send to a family that she doesn't even know. That she he completely he keeps completely separated from her. That is crazy, absolutely crazy. And let's not forget this guy's got children with somebody else as well. And that money, obviously, I'd imagine it maybe goes to the children, but imagine it's going to that woman as well. Oh, your new person paying your old person. That is wild, man. I mean, to be honest with you, I just find it very annoying that this guy can't be more grateful, to be honest with you. But anyway, let's, let's have a look. I'm going to send her to Ecuador. <laughs> Let me just read exactly what he says because, you know, it's easier that way. To see if she can live on 200 a month. <laughs> the audacity by this guy is surreal. Like, who says that to somebody that they, you know, want to be with or somebody that they love or whatever? Like, come on, man. I worry about others, you worry about yourself. Damn. You know what though? The thing is though, I'm not sitting here defending Ashley, you know, because at the end of the day, it's not my it's not it's not my fault that she she didn't do her research. I mean at the end of the day, she's put herself in this position. She should have known better than to, you know, move someone over that that she knew one thousand percent has always lacked being transparent. He has always been cagey with his information. He has always been secretive. She's the one that chose, chose to bring him to the States and chose to, bump to, to want to be with him. You know, knowing that his biggest red flag is a massive red flag and that is always being secretive. It's not even a matter of where he's conservative or, or he has a privacy. No, 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 no. Man is just flat out secretive. And trust me when I tell you, that's never a good sign whatsoever. Like, let's keep it 100. Like, come on, man. Let's, don't, don't mess about with this BS. I can't. He just hurt my feelings. I'm not supporting him. He doesn't feel supported by me. All I am doing is supporting him. The cell phone you use is the phone that I bought. I give you love. I give you affection. We're banging it out multiple times a day. How else? I'm going to make sure I move out of the way for the uh, description. You know what I'm saying? It hurt, it hurt to hear that. It hurt, man. <laughs> like, kick to the balls. Are these two having like two different conversations? Because it doesn't feel like they're both having the same conversation right now. You know what I mean? It feels like they're both like having a conversation where they're both just speaking each other. But then, but the way I look at it is him doing it worse to her than she's doing it to him. Because all she was trying to do was ask questions. Girls just trying to get answers. I know co How are you going to sit here and say that you don't feel supported by me? How are you going to say that? It's like disrespectful. You tell me. You tell me. Who's the one who's been disrespectful? You know, this is the thing. Let's 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 just lay it all down the line. Let's lay let's lay it down on paper, right? Whatever. Let's just put it out here. 
So what do we know about these two so far? We know that they met before in Ecuador. It didn't work out. She disappeared, met somebody else, didn't work out. And then he, he got in touch with her again. Therefore, they decided to re reconnect. They spent some time together in Ecuador. Then eventually the plan was for him to come to the States. First thing that we find out is that, you know, she's a witch and uh, it's a secret to him because she didn't want to tell him because of the way he felt. So she kept that secret from him. But at the same time, he also kept a lot of secrets from her because he's never been fully transparent. Something that she has spoken about multiple times in the first early episodes. But either way, though, we move on. We uh, He finally arrives in America and now he finds out that, hey, guess what? I'm a witch. And also that she's got a cat. He makes it known that he doesn't think witches are good. And also the whole cat situation. He thinks cats are a bit. Uh. But either way, though, either way, either way, either way, he's come around to it. No worries. But then on the flip side, though, he's then decided to not learn, learn English, which is quite interesting. But either way, though, it is what it is. Uh, and I only say it's interesting because you see his cousin here or his friend here knows English and actually asked him, how do you know English? And he said from the streets. So I do find it quite interesting, though, to be honest with you, that he hasn't put effort into learn English, given the fact that his partner speaks English. But that is what it is. Either way, though, we then find that he's got family in the States, which she knew, but didn't realize how much family he had. Tons of family. Then we later on go find out that this guy obviously has children, which obviously she knew about. But also on top of that, he has to keep sending money back home all the time because his whole life, he said that all he's, all he's ever done is work, work to therefore have money for everyone at home. Now, that has been questioned by some people. Some people don't believe that's the case. Some people believe that he's lying. And if anything, when he works, it's just all for him. But either way, though, since he's been in the States, he expressed how he needed a phone to be able to speak to his family. I actually got him a phone. She even pays for his phone bill. And he was not grateful to that at all. He literally put it down for that because it wasn't the phone that he wanted from what I remember. So that wasn't nice. That wasn't kind. You know what I mean? Now, of course, there's a time when Ash's friends tried to ask him questions that he won't answer himself. He didn't like it. He hated it. He walked away like a little baby, which I understand because, you know, the friends shouldn't be asking questions. But at the same time, though, Ashley's been trying to ask him questions, but he's never open. At the end of the day, you know, if you're not open with your woman, then her friends are going to be concerned. Therefore, they're going to try and ask you anyway. So really and truly, the whole thing about the friends asking questions, that's peaceful. But he should, he should be transparent with his woman. But either way, though, we fast forward to where we are now. You know, in this situation here where his friend's here and even his friend is trying to say, hey, like, well, you guys need to find a balance. But the balance isn't coming. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I am a sole believer that if you work long and hard for your money, your money is your money. It's up to you what you want to do with it. For him to come into her life and say that all she ever does is think about herself and worry about herself, that's ridiculous. Listen, she works hard, I imagine, I'd imagine. She earns money, right? And the money she earns is for herself. At the end of the day, he just needs to be lucky that she's investing some of the money that she earns into him, into also into looking after him. Also, at the same time, still being able to send money send money back home and the thing is he wants money to send back home all the time she's doing it like i believe every bi-weekly or something like that which is completely fine it's better than none right you know what i mean but this guy's been hella ungrateful about it talking about you take 200 to 200 dollars to to the to my country and see how you cope like come on man this guy isn't for real like he's not taking his um all the good thing that she's doing for him he's throwing it back in her face i mean we've seen her do, do what she can to try and make this man settled in but he's refusing. Every step of the way, he's got an excuse. Every step of the way, he is ungrateful. Every step of the way, he just puts her down. But here's the thing then. If somebody was doing this to me, would I still want to be with that person? Hell no. The fact that he, the fact that she still stays with him, that's her fault. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you're thinking. We'll talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace. Oh.